Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. I know I haven't posted in a long time, guys. I apologize for that. I've just been really, really busy. I haven't been on social media at all for uh, a few months. Um, I've just been doing other stuff. Uh, I apologize, but I am going to be uploading a lot more videos than I have lately. So stay tuned for that. And today's tutorial is Baldina. Uh, this is the continuation of Baldi's Basics and Education. Uh, it's just a female version of it. It's a brand new game that came out. Um, go check it out if you guys haven't done so already um, but this is one of the main main characters which is Baldina uh, she takes place of Baldi so it's just a female version of Baldi I guess but uh, without any further ado let me show you guys how to make Baldina okay, so we're gonna start off with the body it's a regular just plain old green and um, it's what it is is just a circle that's split in half and just attached at the ends or a vase shape I guess you could call it a vase shape an hourglass um, an hourglass shape so I just put those two ends together and I um, try to make it look like there's no seam like they're attached together so it won't fall off um, there's gonna be a belt that she has around here anyways and so that'll work too. Um, I'm just smoothing out all the little creases that I have here just to make it look nice and smooth. Like that. Voila. Nice and smooth. And now I'm going to make the belt. Um, there's a shot in here that I missed because <laughs> it's, it's kind of hard recording stuff like making polymer clip right here. I know it's not on the camera, <laughs> I apologize because it's pretty hard uh, recording recording while you're creating something. You don't know where the camera's facing because you're paying attention to what you're doing. So anyways, I used some skewers for the legs. As you can tell, I just uh, sized them up, make sure they're the right size. And I uh, just filled it out with brown clay. Uh, the same color as the belt. I just uh, used the same... <laughs> The same brown color because that's what it looks like on the game um, if you guys haven't watched the game go check it out it's basically the same thing as uh, Baldi's basics so you go both legs are are nice and attached and now for the head the head's a nice oval shape so it's pretty easy to make overall the whole character was pretty easy to make um, let me know if you get in the comments guys if you guys like this new uh, version of Baldi Baldina <laughs> the female version of Baldi um uh, it's it, it looks the same to me uh, i haven't played it um i watched a lot of youtube videos that played this and i was like oh it's pretty cool i should create one of these uh baldina characters so i did <laughs> so um yeah it's basically the same thing from what i saw it's basically the same thing as baldi it just has new characters there's a little bit more different things there's a little bit of differences from baldina from Baldi to Baldina um, the new characters besides new characters there's a lot of different other things she doesn't have a ruler so she doesn't go chase you around with the ruler uh, but she does try to basically kill you but now it's like you have to write a poem and you have to ditch school it's a whole different premises it's a whole different premise it's all different story so um, go check it out guys it's a pretty cool pretty it's cool it's different uh, like I said, I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's part two of Baldi's Basics in Education, or it's just uh, it's just a whole brand new game. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I, I think it's the same makers as well. It's the same makers as Baldi, the original one. Um, so here are the eyeballs. I had a little. It had a little gray around it, so I'm assuming there were glasses. Um, this is me making the hair. The hair was the hardest part to make because. Um, oh, actually, this is the eyebrows. Sorry, my mistake. These are the eyebrows. The eyebrows I just placed them on. I shaped them a little bit with the X-Acto knife. And then after that, uh, I did the hair. The hair was a little bit um, difficult to do because I couldn't stand it up. And if I if I stick a little uh, toothpick on it, it'll stand it up too much. 
um, and then I lost my thin wire that I had so I just I just went with what I had and it looked okay I guess um, I, I think I could have done a lot better but you work with what you have so I did <laughs> um, through here I'm just making the lips um, it's just basically two folded up uh, pieces of um, polymer clay and you got the powdery lips <laughs> and the sad lips uh, she does get angry as well like in the Baldi's basics and the education she, she gets as mad as Baldi gets but I had to stick a q-tip on it uh, a q-tip a toothpick on it because uh, it, or else it wouldn't stick um, there's other characters that I made and as soon as I put as soon as I put them into the oven um, uh, they basically fall apart and I had to just crazy glue them together. I mean if you don't have to you could always crazy glue all, all of it together at the end um, It's hard enough to um, To get crazy glued after it gets you know hardened once you put it in the oven and it gets hard um, you could always crazy glue uh, Technically it's a lot easier that way honestly to be truthful if you guys saw the uh, first prize video that I made um you guys will see that gluing the stuff together is a lot easier than actually making it and then putting it into the oven. Uh, another thing that I did also was that the arms, I couldn't have them straight. I should have I put uh, toothpicks on the arms, uh, but I didn't, unfortunately. So at the end result, <laughs> her arms came out a little bit warped. So, uh, yeah, but I mean, it, looked, it still looked okay. I still like the way it looks. It makes it, it makes her look a little bit more creepier, you know. So this is making I'm making the high heels here, uh, just making the basic shape first, and then making sure they're both the same size, and then I could go into the details with it. Um, she does have really really long um, high heels on. They're longer than her feet. <laughs> they stick out like I, I created here. So that, that was kind of a challenge to do. But I figured it out. I just put it to the pick at the end, uh, just to make it sturdy, and uh, cut off whatever part I didn't to make it straight. And there you go. You have two high heels. Um, this is the way it's supposed to look because it's supposed to be bigger than her foot. So it's supposed to look like this, guys. If you haven't seen, like I said, I haven't seen the video. Go check it out or the game. Go check it out. So she's ready for the oven. Let's take her right into the oven, guys. And here we go. This is the end result. She's nice and baked, and she's all hard, and she came out pretty good. <laughs> I like it. So I painted the, the, as you guys could tell, I painted the little toothpicks at the bottom. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on how to make Baldina. Um, I enjoy doing it. Um, if you guys want to see more characters on the Baldina video game. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what characters you guys want to see. If it's not Baldina characters that you want me to do. If it's any other characters that you want me to do. It's like Fortnite characters, video game characters, or cartoon characters. Let me know on the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to reply to your comment. And um, leave your suggestions. Helps me out and then it helps you out because you guys get to see whatever it is that you guys want to see win-win situation anyways if you're new to the channel guys don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell notifications on the side uh let you know every time i upload a new video because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace